Hello, and thank you for your interest in audio precision. While there can be hundreds of audio measurements that are appropriate for any particular device, there are some basic audio measurements that are relevant to nearly all audio devices. This series of videos looks at those big six audio tests. Level and gain, THD plus N, frequency response, crosstalk, phase, and signal-to-noise ratio. We'll discuss what each test measures and then how to make the measurement with an APX audio analyzer. This video looks at level and gain. Level, also known as amplitude, describes how big the signal is. The greater the amplitude of the signal, the higher the level. Level is probably the most basic audio measurement we can make. How much energy does our device output? What level can it output before it distorts the signal? In this example, as we increase the level from 3 volts up to 7 volts, the device is exceeding its capabilities and distorts the signal. Level can be expressed in several different units. In the analog domain, the most common are volts, watts, dBV, or dBU. The digital domain has its own set of units, which we'll discuss in a later tutorial. Engineers like to use dB, short for decibel, because it's a logarithmic unit, so large ranges can be expressed in simple numbers. Though dB by itself is just a ratio between two values, the dB in level measurements assumes a reference to a defined constant. For example, dBV is reference to the volt, where 0 dBV equals 1 volt. Minus 1 dBV is 1 decibel less than 1 volt, or 0 0.89 volts, and minus 100 dBV is 100 dB down from 1 volt, or 0 0.00001 volts. A good rule of thumb is for every extra 6 dB of level, there's approximately double the voltage. dBm has its origins in an old audio standard. Unless you have a good reason to use dBm, the more common unit today is dBu, where 0 dBu is equivalent to 0 0.7746 volts. Fortunately, with APX, you can switch all these unit equivalents instantly. Gain is a very common measurement for amplifiers. It's the device's output level divided by the level at the input. Being a ratio, it's usually measured in dB, but it could be looked at as a percent. Volume, or loudness, is a subjective concept that relates to the perception of sound by the listener. There are no units for volume, just percentages or referenceless numbers. With an APX audio analyzer, taking a level measurement is extremely easy. All the measurements are listed in the measurement navigator. You just select the measurement you want, edit the default settings if necessary, and hit go. APX will run the measurement and present one or more views of the data automatically. Or, there are scope and FFT monitors for real-time measurements. First we'll define the signal path of the analyzer and our device. Then we'll select the measurement we need and check the default values. Then we'll run the measurement. In this case, the inputs and outputs of the device under test are both unbalanced analog. Next, we'll set the bandwidth of the analyzer. The APX525 we're using has 1 MHz bandwidth, but we don't need that for this test. Finally, we'll check the physical connectors are connected correctly by stimulating each channel one at a time. Now we're ready to select the level measurement from the measurement navigator. 1 kHz at 1 volt is a pretty standard test signal, so we'll enter that for the generator output. Here you can see we could select the same output in different units if we wanted. We turn on the generator and immediately the level is visible in the measurement pane. Right now the unit is dBU, but we can change the unit anytime. Let's do volts RMS. We can look at the gain by selecting it from the measurement strip, which is showing all the available views for this measurement. So. With 1 volt being input, this device has an output of 1.5 volts, which is a gain of about 3.5 dB. Next up, let's look at THD plus N.